guys welcome to virtual AI and hybrid technologies I am Khaja Ali today I am going to show how to uninstall MySQL server from Windows 11 64 bit operating system step by step in detail so let's get started to uninstall MySQL server from our local machines we need to follow the process outlined in the steps to completely uninstall MySQL server any version from Windows 11 64 bit including removing all services, configuration files and leftover registries if needed. Step 1. Stop MySQL services. For that, press Windows plus R, type servicesmsc Click on OK. Just search for MySQL or MySQL 9.3. Yeah, we can see here MySQL 9.3. Click on stop. So here we are stopping MySQL server services from the backend. In second step, find entries related to MySQL server as mentioned below in a step by step procedure to uninstall MySQL from control panel completely. First, we need to start with uninstalling MySQL Workbench, second MySQL Shell, third MySQL Server and fourth MySQL Installer. Now, uninstall MySQL Server from Control Panel. So, type here Control Panel, click on this, click on Uninstall a Program. So, here under Programs and Features, we need to find entries related to like mysql server with version mysql workbench mysql installer community mysql shell etc so once we find that entries we need to right click on it and perform uninstall the actual procedure of uninstalling mysql is we need to start from mysql workbench first then we need to uninstall mysql shell then we need to uninstall mysql server then lastly we need to uninstall mysql installer in my case i am actually installing mysql server as a sap cx that is hybrid commerce cloud backend so for that i need to install mysql community edition by mistake i have installed mysql server 9.3 so there there is some performance tuning i need to perform at mysql server while installing and also at hybrid server side to accelerate initialization and update process smoothly so for that i am uninstalling this mysql server 9.3 so let's search here in search engine mysql entries mysql mysql so here where we can only find mysql server so just right click on it perform uninstall just click on s so it may take some time to remove it completely yeah so now i can see a pop-up related to mysql so user account control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device click on s yeah next click on execute finish Now, MySQL server uninstallation process completed successfully. Let's check in the control panel once. Uninstall program. Yeah, type MySQL. So here there is no MySQL server related entries available. So, so it's completely uninstalled. So with this, 
we can confirm that the MySQL server from local machine got removed or uninstalled. Now the third step is we need to manually delete remaining folders. So for that after uninstallation delete all leftover folders to ensure a cleanup system. After deleting MySQL and its components from control panel we need to delete all leftover folders to ensure a clean system by manually deleting remaining folders by navigating to the mentioned paths. So let's see. So here under program files search for MySQL. MySQL is not exist. So this is clear. Now we need to search in program files 32 bit folder which is x86. Just navigate under this folder and search for MySQL. So here no MySQL directory exists. So this also clear. This path also clear. Now we need to navigate to program data. Yeah, in some cases the data will be hidden. So we need to perform show hide items. So here we can see program data. So under this program data we can see yeah MySQL which contains MySQL configurations. So we need to delete this directory completely. So shift delete enter. S give the it is asking admin privileges. So yeah continue to delete that directory. Now this is also clear. Is there any MySQL? Uh, okay, no, only three are there. There it is, which is related to Microsoft. Okay, fine. So this path also clear. Now we need to navigate under the user directory. Here, username and app data, domain, MySQL. So just need to find there is no mysql directory exist here so this path is clear so we have covered all the paths and deleted all leftover folders to ensure a cleanup system so now in step 4 we need to delete mysql from windows services if still showing sometimes the mysql server remains even after uninstalling so to remove it manually we need to open command prompt cmd open in administrator mode press administrator click on s so we can see here administrator command prompt so now we are getting all privileges to perform operations once we open the command prompt in administrator mode we need to run a command to delete mysql service manually which we have stopped so give a command sc D -E -L -E -T, delete my sql y should be small and sql should be capital including m in my local the install mysql name is mysql 9 if it is a mysql 80 just give mysql 80 if it is a MySQL 93, then need to give MySQL 93. Just press enter. So here, open service failed 106. The specified service does not exist as an installed service. So with this, we can confirm that there is no such service exist in the local system. Just for the confirmation, we can open the run shift plus r here we need to give services services dot msc just navigate to m series we can see only microsoft related services running and other services apart from mysql services so with this we can confirm that there is no such mysql service 
running in the local machine because we stop the service and we have run uninstallation so with that the service got removed safety side we run the command which is sc delete mysql 93 so there also no such service got or mounted so we also check in the services as well so there is no such service available so with this we can confirm that we completely deleted all the services related to mysql so now we need to perform fifth step which is clean mysql entries from windows registry which is under advanced and optional we need to be cautious when editing the registry so we need to take a backup first now press windows and r type reg edit edit so a pop up appear on the screen so related to registry editor click on s now we enter into registry editor so this is the directory where we need to find mysql server related directories key local machine open this under this navigate to software under software just find mysql so there is no mysql directory exist so this is clear uh, under systems we need to find this under current control set yeah current control set under current control set services under services we need to find mysql server related directory yeah it will index in alphabetical order so better to check from last ms sql server this is microsoft server we need to find mysql server and so there is no mysql related directory or directories so this is also clear okay all right close the registry editor so this is also complete now we need to restart our local machine so now i am performing restart so this is the in detail procedure to uninstall mysql server from windows 64 bit operating system see you in the next video which will cover the installation of mysql server community edition in a hybris perspective thank you guys for watching this video if you find this video informative please like and subscribe my channel for more informative videos thank you bye bye